So it's been so awesome to create this huge piece for the Metro. I'm so excited for it to go into the trains and for people to see it on their daily journeys. But the process of actually making it has been so interesting, connecting with the local communities. Just tell us a bit about your piece, if you can. So I connected with all of the amazing communities of women who wild sea swim here in the northeast. So it's all the different beaches that the metro serves and I got in early morning, April, May um, with the women on their weekly swims and immersed myself in the water to get to know what, it like, what it's like to feel um, being in the cold water of the sea and with all these women together and why they do it. And what do you hope that when the Metro passengers see your artwork will be feeling? I hope they feel a lot of joy. I think it comes across the emotion that the women get from you know, conquering the cold and coming together. They get a lot of joy out of it and it's very inspiring and empowering thing to do as well, to cold sea dip. And so I really hope that they see the joy, maybe give it a go and go wild sea swimming themselves and just get to enjoy the beautiful coastline along here. It's so easy to get from the city centre to the coast and that's the beauty that the Metro uh, serves to those different places. And to see your artwork going on to the Metro itself? Uh, I'm so excited to get on the actual, <laughs> actual fleet and on the trains and like be able to see it because that's the way it's been designed. It's been designed to see as a passenger. So whether you're sat on the train or you stand coming in the doorway and to be able to like look down the train corridor and see the artwork and all the different parts of it that you can see um, and get up close to the detail but also the impact of it from far away.